Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day and right here I find myself with my doggy Boston. Boston always loves to be plain and it's Sunday for me and I am just here sitting at home relaxing my morning having my first cup of coffee here. He's a very good catcher. Aluna. Aluna, show my friends your doll. Luna loves this baby doll that I picked up for her at a yard sale. She loves having stuffed animals to play with. Luna, Luna, say hi, sweetie. So I do not know right now where is Chapo. But these are my mornings. Try to spend some time with my dogs. Enjoying their company. Good catch. And the reason these containers you see against the wall right here is because a uh, wall like two weeks ago, uh, me and my husband went out to the flea market, tried to sell some of our old things that we aren't not using or needing that have just been there. And we just went out, tried to make uh, some extra money. So those are the reason they're just there, but um, I'll be putting them away where they actually belong. And you can see Choppy's over there. Chapo. He's drinking water, I believe. There he is. So I hope your guys' summer has been really good. And it's almost ending. I can't believe school's about to start up again. For all those who have kids back uh, going back to school or colleges. My summer's been going well. Nothing very exciting. Just um, here at home. Uh, we went to the beach. Was Or was it a river? Yeah, I can say it's... They call it a beach, but it's not really like a beach. It's more like a little lake, I guess. A small river. Yeah. So, um, we went out there with my family and enjoyed it. It was a good time. And the water was super cold. And, um, it was pretty fun. But as summer is approaching, I am excited for it because I'm not really a summer gal. I love more of the fall. I can't stand the heat. And there's and there's Chapel patrolling. Waiting for my hubby to come back because he went to drop off my older son at work. So he always likes to wait for him. Oh, and Boston's outside doing his business. Bathroom break. So today, really, I'm just going to relax, 
not even clean or anything like that i'm just gonna relax take it easy i have one thing on my mind and that's because my youngest son requested he wanted some tortas so we'll see if that happens we still have to go out and get uh, the ingredients for it see if that doesn't change we were discussing about it last night so um uh-huh so we will be going to walmart um so i hope you guys are um having a great day And there's my daughter mopping. She's such a sweetheart. <laughs> she is very helpful around the house and makes my um my life a lot easier because she really goes above and beyond to help me around the house. Which I'm very grateful for her. I I also wanted to share the little cute things I've been uh, picking up along uh, the way at garage sales. Um, this table here, I've had it, but it was a dark brown. But I ended up painting it white. You can see here it's not perfect, but I was like, I didn't want it uh, dark brown. So I just went ahead and painted it with white paint that I had in hand already. And I think it looks way, well, different to my eyes. So I'm happy with that. And I also did my dresser because if you remember, I had it, but it was like a dark gray and i also painted that kind of like white i still have to do like another probably two coats and i left it like that for now so i have this little decor here in my living room i also painted this one here because this was like a a teal and then it went to become a brow so now it's like a white kind of distressed look and then I got this big clock that I fell in love with this was through the app offer up this one here was only ten dollars and over here I ha I picked this two little lovebirds at a yard sale and I picked this pumpkin up out of the garage sale as well. And I was looking through Hobby Lobby. And I believe it's Hobby Lobby because I seen it there. So I scored. These were a dollar a piece. So when I go to garage sales, I love to buy things that are like um, uh, not over like $5. Unless to me, like, you know, it's something that i'm like ooh, five dollars like okay you know but i really don't like to uh buy any home decor that's over five dollars because you know it does add up and sometimes i just honestly with you guys i go to garage sales maybe like thirty dollars or around there you know so i try to stay within that uh range or i even go sometimes with less so i kind of try to just you know it has to be something that i really really like or love that i will spend the five dollars and then i picked up this cute little table here this one here it's like really light it's kind of like cardboard really um nothing heavy um, I don't know. Well, for now, I'm just using it as in my living room, like just to put my drink, my coffee, or my food when I'm eating here in the living room. That one here was three dollars, and it's perfectly like like new. So, what else can I show you guys? 
and this here this one's here in my kitchen on my table and this one I picked up for a dollar a dollar as well it was a little dusty I just went ahead and washed it and cleaned it and dried it off and voila super cute metal I believe this is from Marshalls because it has a sticker on the bottom I would show you but I don't want to take that out <laughs> so I think it looks super cute and it makes a cute addition here on my table my decor and then this was from another garage sale and I picked this basket here with the chicken wire I believe it's called basket this one here was three dollars and it came with these greenery so and this I just have here on top of my fridge refrigerator and I have that up there also too you see that cute sign up there uh, gather together I know it's not we're not in fall already but I just love fall and I just liked it and also honestly too my my wall was bare there so I asked my husband if he can hang that up for me which he kindly did and I love it because it has the green it has the blues it has the everything that I like in one so that's up there and let's see let's go here to the kitchen um, I picked up that pantry sign as well at a garage sale I paid two dollars for it uh, my husband again uh, put that up for me so I love it up there super cute top of my kitchen and then this here I also got and I put coffee and Jesus here by my coffee station and I have a lot more of these letters that came with it so whenever I want to change it up I can so those are the things I've been picking up and I come across them at the garage sales 